All right, I'm here with 2022 PFL Federate finalist, Mr. Brendan Lafnin. Hello, sir. Welcome back. How are you today? Good to be back. I hope you're well, my friend. I'm uh, well. Thank you very much. In which part of the world are you right now? Uh, you know I like to get around. I'm in Thailand right now. In Thailand. Oh, that's very, very nice. Um, are you training at... Uh, where are you training over there? Tiger Muay Thai and uh, Bang Tao, both. Okay, okay. Yeah, that sounds good. You prepared, uh, if I'm not wrong here, you prepared uh, all this uh, season at uh, Tiger Muay Thai, right? Uh, I did my first camp there and then the second camp I did in the UK and then I come back here for this one. How good is it to be in the finals this year, finally? <laughs> Fucking best thing in the world. Yeah, it was quite a journey for you, you know, to since you, you signed with PFL and until you finally got your chance to fight in, in the finals. Um, how would you comment on your promotional path so far? It's been fun. It's been a journey. I mean... It's not been uh, it's not been easy. It's been really difficult. PFL's the hardest thing that I've ever done, um, and I'm just finally glad that I get to the end of it. Um, you know, I deserve it, and I'm glad I'm here now. In the playoffs, you had home court advantage against Chris Wade. Did that impact your performance at all? Yeah, it did. Um, it made me feel great being at home with my coaches, fan, fr friends, and family. And just, uh, just the whole vibe that week was great. I've not fought in England since 2018. So wow. uh, it was a great vibe. And um, I put on a great performance for my people. Yeah, of course. And you were praised for that. Uh, was that anything at all that surprised you that night, considering though that you took home a unanimous decision? Is there anything that surprised me? No, not really. Not really. Um is a pretty, it was probably my easiest fight of the season, to be honest. Oh, wow, for real? Yeah. Uh, so, did you prepare very well for Wade then? Yeah, I prepared, prepared very well. Very, very, very well. Like I will do for Bubba too. Um, right now, you're scheduled to take on Baba Jenkins on November the 25th. Uh, listen, I ask you the same question I asked him. What's going on between the two of you? It seems that is there a little bit of animosity? Bubba? Yeah. Oh, shit. Has he started the shit talk already? <laughs> I don't know. Animosity. Maybe he's made some up. I don't know. But uh, there's none from my side. Oh, so you're good. Uh, I mean, he was he he gave me an answer. He started from one point and finished to another. Like he started saying that you're on good terms, but still you have to promote the fight and some something like trash talk will come come in between. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Listen, I actually don't like Chris Wade. I don't like him now. I never liked him then. Um, that, none of that was fake. It's going to be really hard for me to pretend to not like Bubba because I do like him, but it still won't stop me from, you know, punching him in the face. That's a fact. What is it that you didn't like about Chris Wade? Chris Wade just had a funny energy with me from the day that I signed with PFL. Every time I seen him, he was real off. Then there was a few things backstage that nobody seen. And then, uh, you know, he was calling out, I want it, I want it. And then he got it. And then it turns out he didn't want it when he got it. So, you know. <laughs> That's kind of what happened there. Um, would you like to, you know, elaborate a little bit more on what happened best stage? I mean, that fight's in the past now. You know, we did, we settled it in the cage. I'm a man of my word. You know, I'll just leave it there. That's done. That's a, yeah, he's a thing of the past now. You know, it's time, it's time for me. I, I, you know, I don't concern myself with him anymore. I just concern myself with Bubba Jenkins. That, okay, that that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Uh, enough. And uh, I'm guessing here that there wasn't there wasn't any incidents with uh, Baba Jenkins in the backstage so far. No, Bubba's a good guy. I like Bubba. I like his coach. I like his team. Um, I fought friends in the past. Norman Park, Mike Wilkinson. It's not going to stop me from going in there and laying it all on the line. It's really not. You fought three times in the span of a few months, and you're preparing for your fourth bout. 
what do you think about your path to the finals this year? Um, I thought Rayo Jacudo first, who um, was a very tough fighter, very unknown fighter. And then uh, everyone knows who he is now, put on a great performance against me and then went on to the semi-finals. And then you've got um, that Husik last-minute replacement. Wasn't very happy with that performance. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, you can say that I got the rounds under the belt. I went decision in all three fights and I got nine rounds under my belt, nine tough rounds. And I just feel like I'm unbreakable now. I just don't see where Bubba beats me. Uh, you told me that Wade was your tough, uh, your sorry, your easiest challenge this year. What was your toughest one? Though? Do you think that it was the one with uh, Ryoji Kudo? Yeah. Um, what was it? You know that that night that clicked uh, inside of you against Wade A against Kudo. Sorry. What was it that clicked again for me? Yes, yes. I mean, you started, you were a little bit in difficulty at first, but then you overcame that adversity to, you know, to, you took home that technical decision eventually. You know what it is? I just, I don't really, I, don't, I mean, I know we're doing an interview, so we have to talk about it, but I'm trying not to dwell on the past too much now because I was on the mic saying I wasn't happy with the performances and all that. So it's just like, I, I just want to get them out of my mind and move forward. I'm happy with the Wade performance. And I just want to build from that one. Um, had a lot of issues going into Kudo. Had some is issues going into the Husik fight. But <coughs> no fight is 100%. And um, yeah, I just think with Wade, I actually was 100%. I was 100% mentally and physically. And I think it's shown in the fight. So it's, for me, it's just about staying healthy now and building on that one. In case of victory of the $1 million prize, what are you going to do with the money, my friend? What am I going to do with the money? Yes, sir. I think I think if I said it on air, the police might knock on my door <laughs> if I told them what I was going to spend the money. <laughs> <Just joking. laughs> I'm just um, I don't know. I don't know. Listen, it's not like I've not got money anyway. I've made some money, you know, so I'm sure with the money that I've made, if I was going to change my lifestyle, I would have already changed it. I'm not going to change it. I love what I do. This is my life. And... Um, I don't need a million dollars to define me. I really don't. I'm, I'm after that belt. I'm after 16 years of hard work. And I want to uh, I want to show everyone how great I am because, again, I'll probably be an underdog again against Bubba. And I just want to show people how good I am. So you're more focused on your legacy than on the uh, prize itself? Listen, a million dollars is a million dollars. It will change your life. It will change your family's life. I'm not under the illusion that that's not important, but... When you've been doing something every day for 16 years, and I mean every day, all day, you just want, you know, you, you, in your own head, you want to cap it off with something nice, don't you? Like, you want to be, you want your name to go down in history, and that's what I'm after it. You will have your chance to do that uh, in the upcoming finals. Uh, listen, you're one of the few MMA fighters with whom I can talk about football. Are you happy that Cristiano Ronaldo is back at Manchester United? It's been touch and go, right? He's been good, then he's been shit. So, you know, he's uh, it's good that United are playing well now, but Ronaldo still needs to step up a little, I think. I mean, he's getting on now. He's, he's cracking on with his age, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Th that's true. That's true. I mean, time is a merciless master for everyone. Uh, there you go. <laughs> what do you think about Paul Pogba's bad departure from United, though? Who's? Paul Pogba. Oh, <coughs> I mean, his attitude wasn't very good on the pitch anyway. So, I mean, I like the way uh, the manager's dealing with the players nowadays. Anybody that's got the wrong attitude or on the sideline, no matter if they're worth 100 million or if they're worth 1 million, I like that. That's good. Listen, Brendan, I finished my questions. Do you have any less messages? No, all good. Thank you very much again. Best of luck with the upcoming fight and hopefully I will hear again from you after the finals. Thank you, brother. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.